about how the different days are spread into day dark and day time, day night. You know, morning, nights, different hours, different element colors. Let's see what episode 3 of Break Time has for us. I hope it's Reinhard versus Elsa in chibi mode. I, heard, I hope Reinhard uses his nuke power, but in like a very cute way. No! Wait, can I watch this? Because this is episode three, but I feel like this is going to be the next episode. Because like, I'm assuming, because like, they're not covering the, uh, maybe it's just a slice of life, Emilia and Puck. I'm just assuming like, after Emilia takes, you know, Subaru at the end of episode three and takes her home, I'm assuming that this is that, right? It's the epilogue epilogue. All right, fuck it, let's go. Not any sword, bro. He didn't even draw his real sword. He was just a random blade on the ground. Okay. I guess it's true that he has all sorts of divine protections. Supreme, sorry. Wait, I don't remember the word supreme being added in Sword Saint. They're just, they're just making different ways to glaze him up even more. But divine protections? <laughs> That's oh, what's going on. Remember that point. I, I'm just bringing this up. I don't care. I, I am straight up going to bring this up, bro. Where, where, where is this? It's episode three, right? Yeah. What happens here, bro? No, not this part. Not this part. There's a part where Elsa lives, right? No, no, no. We, we got it. Look too far. A little bit for... No, 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 no. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elsa comes out. I don't know how she did it. I don't know how. Thank you, Alinary, for the prime, man. Thank you so much. And then... Throws blade, right? This shit, like... I swear, I played it frame by frame. This shit literally just like bends around him as if he has like Gojo Satoru like Mugen, bro. The blade here, like it just like deflects off. So now we know through break time, right? Break time has now told us that Reinhardt has like what? Divine protections. So like what? Any fucking projectile, it just doesn't miss. It just, just doesn't fucking hit on Reinhardt. What's the implication here, right? What is the implication here? Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> I don't think this is as strong as Mugen. Because, like, in Mugen, it's, like, it, it, it's everything. Like, melee, projectile, any attack. This is projectiles. Any, like, <laughs> long-range attack, any ranged attacks, this shit just, like, <laughs> bends around him. So what if a dragon uses a breath attack on him? Huh? What if a dragon used a breath attack? Is a, is a breath attack a projectile? And if so, nothing would just happen to Reinhardt? Bro, and like, this is just one divine protection, right? Like, like, what did she say? All sorts of divine protections. This is one single divine protection. And one has to ask, how do you get a divine protection? Is this the same as Blessing of the Wind that Elsa mentioned to uh, Felt in episode one, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're gonna tell me, this is basically the, the author, the director of the animes, basically saying, yo, yo, Reinhardt got more bullshit passes, don't worry. This projectile avoidance, nah, 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 don't worry about it. This, this is just, this is just like level one, bro. We, we, wait till you see the fucking tier four fucking <laughs> divine protection. Like, what else? What, like, Reinhardt? I could totally see him having like a um, an, like an instant like get out of death free card. Like he dies, but it's just like uh, like once a day or something, he can die like up to three times or some shit and still be fine. What else? Some sort of stupid power of like I don't know some Goku shit where it's like no matter who your opponent will, you will always like surpass your opponent. <laughs> like what is some really fucking dumb attack? Like 
I don't know. What if he has, like, the undefeated one? Divine protection, the undefeated one. It's just like, no matter what fight you're in, you will always win. That would be just stupid, right? It's just like, no matter what the obstacle is, you will find a, f a way to overcome it. <laughs> Protection from surprise attacks. I could totally see like debuff immunity too, like poisons, nothing like works on him. <laughs> or from staying dead if he's killed one. See? Wait, I don't know if they're trolling though. I don't know if Puck is trolling. Because this is all cute and chibi. But it, th it says over here, Blessing of the Phoenix. It, I, 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 I genuinely don't know if they're trolling. It, fully canon? Are, are, we, are we actually learning how OP Reinhardt's right now? Blessing of the Phoenix. He's got first strike immunity. What else? <laughs> Supreme Sword Saint Re Oh, just Reinhardt again. <laughs> Okay. One that keeps him from mixing up sugar and salt? So do you- This is the most useless fucking divine protection, bro. Well, I guess it could get you out of trouble during cooking, but like compared to the other ones. <laughs> Amelia sucks at cooking? <laughs> He did, he did. Puck, talk about how Subaru knew your name without ever seeing you in this timeline. Puck, you are just like conveniently ignoring it. And I don't know, I mean, the show was supposed to be so smart, right? I'm not gonna just take Puck simply like, like uh, not uh, confronting Subaru about how, how the knowledge about the 9 to 5 or even Puck's name. Like a face glance. I don't think that th that was a plot hole, right? I think that the anime is intentionally telling us that spirits operate in a different way during regressions. It's gotta be something different, right? Yeah. Yeah. The track suit denotes someone that is co commonly just like an otaku, just like a fucking neat that just stays home and does nothing and has piles of fucking garbage surrounded in his apartment like me. Yeah, he was going all out. It was actually pretty impressive, huh? Something or other Hunter Elsa. Uh, uh Bowel Hunter Elsa. Darker than clothes, darker than dark. Uh, knife that's seen from the northern provinces. I think that's what Reinhardt said, right? There's some lore there about the Bowel Hunter. Where the fuck did my subs go? Where, what the fuck happened here? Come on. What the fuck is going on? Bro, I think this is that shit just shit out. Hold up. Let me restart this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is better. <laughs> That's Elsa? No! Don't give Elsa lips like this! What the fuck? Why? She still looks pretty hot though. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Thank you, Puck! Puck is actually confronting it in the break time? Yeah, how do you know your name? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Hmm. You're gonna conveniently skip that shit? At least they mentioned it. I'm I'm very glad that they at the very least mentioned it. And then they just glossed it over. Like, okay, Puck, then why were you so just casual with it? I, I guess Puck, that just means that Puck was just... Either Puck is hiding a secret. Or he's just playing along with it and just like, whatever. He is pretty sus. Get rid. He's so cute though. 
Puck is way too goddamn adorable, but he's also so scary when he can be strong, man. My favorite part of this is probably this scene here, bro. This break time was a crazy episode. Reinhardt's different blessings. Like, this break time just answered a lot of questions I had of the episode as well, man. Like, that's kind of crazy. The different divine blessings he has. Sorry, divine protections. I don't think a blessing is the same as a divine protection. Or maybe they are the similar thing, just in different terminologies. But <laughs> bro has, like, projectile avoidance. First strike avoidance, blessing of the Fe sorry, divine protection of the phoenix or some shit so that you can fucking resurrect once. And, and then what, what else is it? Sodium knowledge or some shit? I don't know. That's pretty funny. And again, the most important part is how does Subaru know Puck's name? Well, we know that, but they don't. And Puck's willingness to just ignore that kind of like was like, is the enemy trying to tell me something? It, 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 clearly it is, right? Because it get mentioned over here too, but something about spirits and regressions and Subarus. And Subaru is close, you know, uh, what's it called? Subaru is pretty good with spirits too, right? I think it was mentioned that like, even like the lesser spirits forming at that time, and as well as Puck interacting with Subaru, right? So something about him and his affinity for his spirits is very good. And I don't know how that relates to the regression, but hey, I'll see you on episode four.